guys welcome back to this is my kind of vanessa and if you are new welcome welcome guys thank you for joining me so today in this video i'm going to talk about potty training i'm going to share a little bit about my experience and a little bit of uh like the advice i got what worked what didn't work so first i'm going to share with you my um, I'm gonna share with you my experience like how everything worked how like how I did it then I'll tell you about the advice that I got and which work and which didn't buy so I started training uh, put a training my daughter uh, when she turned to because I didn't want to start too early I didn't want to stand too late so like uh, there was like everyone was telling me different ages to start Someone saying you can start when she starts talking. Someone saying just give her time, let her wear the diaper and everything like that. So I decided to put a training here when she turned two. And we had a bit of a challenge to take it the truth. It was really frustrating. So I bought I bought her a potty, like that portable potty. And I started taking it like just sitting sitting with her there so that like she can get used to sitting there then one day she pee peed and she did number two in the potty but the moment she stood up and she saw uh, the poop she ran away like I don't know if it's traumatized or what I don't know but she ran away and from that day she never wanted to sit on that potty whether it be it going to use it or just playing with it it took a while for her to get used to playing with it again so that ruled out the potty like it didn't work for me so what i decided to do was i started like before i bought the baby toilet seat i used to just take her and then hold her on the toilet then she pees in there she used to fight it excuse me uh she used to fight it more often <laughs> than she would peep in there she used to fight it then she refused you take it down a few minutes later she pees in her pants or she poops in her pants it was really bad and now i wanted her to start going to school so i was like ah, but can i send her to school like this but then the school said they will put a train here and stuff like that but yeah we went kind of like i went a bit of back and forth there so i decided to buy to buy a toilet seat a toilet seat for kids and a step like those steps those baby steps like the ones that you put below the toilet and i don't want to lie that way she was so fascinated with just sitting on the potty and holding the handles because i bought the one with the handles on the side holding the one with the handles i felt like it made her feel independent like she can go pee pee on her own without um anyone waiting on her so uh that way she started going to the pee pee but before that we had like created a routine because she didn't pee during the night so early in the morning when she wakes up she eats then after eating she would want to go to pee so we would take her to pee then she sits on the chamber then she pees and that started working but then we again we encountered a problem she didn't want to do number two in the toilet like she literally didn't want you take her whenever i see the signs that she wants to poop you take her you put her on the chamber she doesn't poop the moment you take her like 20 30 minutes after she poops in her pants like it was a real struggle like up until now we are still like struggling sometimes now she's getting a bit used to pooping in the toilet because when you take her you sit there you're like okay i'm leaving you tell me when you're done so she like she stays there for like five ten minutes then she poops then she told you i'm done so now we are like transitioning from um transitioning from number two to uh, from number one to number two i'm sorry transitioning from number one to number two so that she gets used to pooping in the toilet but it wasn't really challenge it was challenging but not as much as i expected like from the stories that i heard about other people and i don't know some people say girls are easier to potty train than guys but among my friends like they all have like different stories some of them they their sons were easy to potty train like it was just instant and it was easy then for some they are still struggling with them with their sons so on that one i'm not sure i think it depends with it depends with your child 
and are not so then on the advice part like some of the advice that i got were for like give us a, a lot of water and make a schedule like you give it a lot of water then after every like two hours you take it to potty and then the other one was make it like walk like run um in the house without wearing any diaper or any panties if she doesn't like if she pees on herself or poops on herself the next time she never do it she want to go use the toilet and stuff so those are like some uh some advices that i got and for me i tried them but for me they didn't work because uh my kid can control your bladder <laughs> i don't wanna like like she can con literally control your bladder like i don't wanna pee right now so i'm gonna tie it and i'm not gonna pee because like the other that's like one of the challenges that we have with her peeing when we go to church because we spend the whole day at church when we go even like out to visit our friends or we go out to eat and stuff she doesn't like peeing or pooping in any toilet that she's not comfortable with like she would literally uh first like first first days when she started peeping in the toilet would go to church she'll not pee at all she'll, she'll end up peeing in her pants because she can't like you know she can't keep fighting to pee anymore so like it's uh, it's hard for her now that's when she'll pee but if she can hold it you can go as long as she's playing or something she won't pee so like that was one of the challenges that we were having with her going like peeing wherever we went or places we went as long as she doesn't trust the place or she's not familiar with the place it was a bit challenging so i decided to like create a routine at um at home like before she sits i wipe her seat then i tell her the seat is clean now you can sit and you can pee so i try i kept doing that at home so that whenever we go out i'll wipe a seat for her then i'll tell her now the seat is clean you can sit and you can what and you can pee and it is it has worked a few times actually and it just makes it easier for us to transition from um from what you call it from pee peeing and carrying pampas whenever we are going out because when i decided to stop giving her pampas it was like when i woke up one day and we're like out of pampas and we had to go buy pampas and it was raining i was like nah i'm done we're not gonna buy pampas so i just put like one packet for whenever we are going outside just in case but when we we're home she didn't wear pampas we made her wear panties and she got used to like even when you give her a pamper whenever we go out if you put her in a pamper she won't pee in the pamper she'll just wait when you get home it will be dry the moment you get home she starts running towards the toilet then she goes to pee so i feel like when it comes to potty training basically there is no like routine what works for one child may not work for a child or what works for a child may not work even for both of your children what worked for the first one might not even work for the second one so i feel like it's it's different when it comes to potty training you have to go along with uh with your kid like let your kid lead you like lead you where they want to like the way they want it because if you do it according to what your friends are telling you sometimes it might be challenging because you know excuse me because like the things that you first the experiences that um your face and you're different so yeah so i think basically that's it i don't know maybe i'll make another part two video of after i'm done like done done with potty training number one and number two because right now we are like uh fighting to potty train number two so i think that's it for today guys so just like left co leave comments in the section below tell us how your potty training went how you did it if any advice you got from your friends worked and what would like now that like if you have finished potty training your kid what would you have done differently like from the lessons that you learned that you learned so just leave a comments below you never know maybe it might help someone so don't forget to subscribe like and share See you next time, guys. Bye, mommies.